What's up? Yeah, <laughs> Lord, Beyonce's again. Beyonce's doing it again. Let me tell you something. She never, never seems to amaze me. <laughs> she never sees it because she's always coming up with something. When you think that she's dead, she comes up with something new. When you think that Blue Ivory is hers, it's not hers. Blue Ivory is not her baby. You know what I'm saying? Those other kids are not her baby. She didn't have no kids, people. Y'all done slipped and bumped your head if you think Beyonce really had those kids that she got. Nah. Jay-Z is not spitting out kids like that. The only kids that Jay-Z spit out is that boy, which is a grown man now. That he don't even acknowledge. That's his kid that he spit out. Look just like the boy. I mean look just. He looked just like the boy. But yet. That boy. His biological son. Is in Brooklyn. Struggling. Living in the Brooklyn. The same Marcy Projects. Jay Z is from. His son is living and struggling in those same damn projects. And Jay-Z is considered a billionaire. And you can't throw your son a couple dollars. Oh, how, does that, how does that work, people? You are a billionaire. You can't throw your son a dollar. Or get a, to get a cup of coffee. You can't get your son a pair of kicks. You can't give your son a membership to title. That's the prime example of a deadbeat. But yet you guys put Jay-Z up to be that, you know what I'm saying, that spectacle to the world. Blue Ivory is not his. And those other kids is not his by J Beyonce. Beyonce didn't have no damn kids. Beyonce probably don't even have no damn ovaries to have damn kids. Beyonce probably can't even have kids. You know what I'm saying, people? But anyway, they said Beyonce broke the internet because she came out to show off her new fake ass. Beyonce, everything about you is fake, Beyonce. Your career is fake, Beyonce. Even that song, ooh, baby, I love you like what you see. I, come on, come on, push up on it, turn when it, push up on it. You know how that song go. And they check on me tonight. You remember that song, right? Remember Jay, uh, Beyonce was trying to twerk her little non-shaped ass? She didn't have an ass then, but she sure was trying to shake something. But now she don't have to worry about that because now she got a nice fake one. And she's supposed to be married. Your body is supposed to be honorable to your husband. And exclusively to your husband. Why did you purposely put these photos out for the world to see your fake ass? Do you belong to the world or do you supposed to belong to your husband? Hmm. Who knows? Jay-Z. Beyonce. We got to wake up, people. These damn, damn influencers. You know what I'm It's going to come a point in time, you know what I'm saying, Jay-Z and Beyonce is on the verge of, you know what I'm saying, divorcing. They on the verge of separating. Beyonce is on the verge of, you know what I'm saying, being that, you know what I'm saying, single mama who raises her kids without Jay-Z. Watch what I tell you now. It's going to play out just like that, people. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce, she done came out with a brand new fake ass. 
and the thirst. And, and let me tell you something. The only reason why she done went viral because you got a lot of thirsty Negroes who just, you know what I'm saying, they're thirst bots. Anything with an ass, they all, you know what I'm saying, they're drooling. It can be a man with a big ass. You have a thirsty Negro sitting there drooling. You women better be careful because not every thug Negro that you see, not every game banging nigga that you see is a straight man. Not every thug Negro that you see is a straight man. Most of these damn thug Negroes is gay. You think, you know what I'm saying, they, they just came out of the chain gang, they just came out of prison. You think, you know what I'm saying, they tough and rough with the Afro puff. Them moths, I was about to curse. Them damn dogs done had punks in the prison yard. Or they done been punked in the prison yard. But I don't know, I'm not going to go into that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sitting here puzzled that, you know what I'm saying, this is even a news story, Beyonce getting a fake it ass. I'm just puzzled that that's even a damn news story. You know what I'm saying? We got to wake up, people, and come back, you know what I'm saying, to these law statute commandments of the Most High, because that's the only thing that's going to save us. Nothing else. If anything else is not going to save you, the Most High will. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Oh, Jack, Beyonce done broke the internet with her fake ass. Huh? That's how we doing it now? We going for fakeness instead of realness? We love the fakeness, but we don't like the realness. You know what I'm saying? That's why everybody on social media is a damn near billionaire. Because they portraying to be something that they're not. Anyway. This is news people. Beyonce, you know what I'm saying? Drop some photos of her um fake ass. Anyway. This is news. Want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this juicy news. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Also, if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is PSTR Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. That's PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I add you to the group. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.